How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Kelly Cast. I'm, of course, your host, Dan Kelly. This is a podcast where we keep you up to date with the latest in the NFL, as you can see by the set, the Buffalo Bills, and of course, our Kelly Cast predictions. The results are up on our Facebook channel right now. That's at the Kelly Cast. There's a four way tie for first, a new color for the garbage can in last, and of course, myself and my co host, Mike, are somewhere in the middle still trying to fight up those odds but today we're here to talk about the bills and the ravens now i have a series here on the channel youtube shorts instant reacts where i kind of go into each game give quick analysis they're one minute videos if you like that shorter form content check it out but today we're here to kind of break down the bills loss first loss of the season against the baltimore ravens on sunday night football where do I want to start? I mean, I guess we'll start with the Ravens' first play from scrimmage, that being a, a Derrick Henry 87-yard touchdown run. He's one yard shy of 200 yards on the day. This is the first time the Ravens have looked the way I expected them to look this entire season, right? Because a lot of people wanted to say that Derrick Henry was washed. A lot of people wanted to say he was old. He couldn't do it anymore. But putting him in the backfield with Lamar Jackson, one of the most – mobile quarterbacks ever right he can make plays with his legs can make plays by throwing the football putting him in that backfield gives him in my opinion a new shelf life right like he is just going to want to play that much harder because you saw what he was doing with the titans and let's be honest the titans were super bowl contenders maybe one year that derrick henry was there and that's the year that he rushed for 2,000 yards and they beat the new england patriots tom brady's last game in foxborough as a patriot um but man, he he made us he made me remember that Josh Norman play. That that's where my mind was uh flashing back to. Let's take a look at the performances here in this game for the Bills. Starting off with, of course, QB1, Josh Allen. Um, first of all, I don't think he had a bad day. I don't think he had a stellar day. I don't think, you know, that's not fair to say. He he did not have his best day as the Bills quarterback. The offensive line really let me down in this game. Josh was getting beat up, whether he was in the pocket, out of the pocket, trick play, which we'll get into a little bit later. Josh, rough day, 16 of 29, 180 yards, zero touchdowns in the air, and of course, zero interceptions still on the season. That's good to see. On the ground, he had five carries, 21 yards, averaging only 4.2 per carry. Now, 4.2 per carry, not that bad when you're thinking of running back, but Josh usually averages around seven, eight yards per carry. Baltimore really came into this game with a great game plan of how to stop the Buffalo Bills. Khalil Shakir dropped his first target. I think they said it was 32 complete receptions every time that Josh Allen uh, targeted Khalil Shakir, which was a record, by the way, in the NFL, so congratulations to th for that. Um, overall, not happy with, with the way Josh played. Can't blame him. Of course, you know, when we talk about the first three weeks of the season, we look at Josh and we, we toss that Superman cape on him and we say, Hey, you made the offense. You made these guys make plays and he's not going to be able to do it every single week. It's just not viable. It's not realistic. And against the Baltimore Ravens, the Bills got punched in the mouth, man. And it happens at the end of the day. I'm not going to overreact to the Bills losing to a really good Ravens team. Am I happy about the way the Bills lost? Not in the slightest. I wish it was a closer game. I wish it was more competitive. And again, we'll get into that here a little bit later. Let's move on to the Bills' leading rusher, which was, of course, well, I guess we're moving on to receiver. Thanks, graphics department. <laughs> the Bills' leading receiver on the day, Khalil Shakir. Four receptions, 62 yards, 15 and a half per catch. Impressive. Impressive. But when you want to talk about receivers, I think we got to mention Keon Coleman here. And Josh lays an absolute beauty out to Keon at the end of the first half to kind of put the Bills back into the game, at least in, in a bigger sense than what they were at this point. And it goes right through his hands. And you hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hope a young player like him learns from it. I know he's beating himself up on it enough. I'm not going to be the one to add to that. But I would hope that he makes that catch the next time around. Dalton Kincaid, five receptions, 47 yards. James Cook, one in the receiving game. Curtis Samuel, two catches for eight yards. Mac Collins, one reception for five yards. Let's move on to the next player here. There he is, James Cook. 
Not not an impressive day for Mr. Cook either. I was not very happy. Nine carries, 39 yards, average 4.3 yards per carry. That's .1 yards more than Josh Allen, of course. And uh, he just never got it going. Again, I bring it back to the offensive line. Was not impressed by their performance in this game. They looked really good the first three weeks. I don't know what happened. Was it scheme? I mean, John Harbaugh's a great coach. All props to him. But, man, the Bills did not look like they were there to play. They did not look like they were ready for a game. And, of course, you know, maybe three primetime games. Short week for the Buffalo Bills. They just played on Monday night. I get all that. But it, it just was not Bills football. Let's move on here to the Bills' leading tackler on the day, that being linebacker Dorian Williams. If Dorian Williams was not out there, I wonder how many yards Derrick Henry would have had because there were at least four different times that I saw him bring down Derrick Henry by himself. So I want to say congratulations to him on a really good performance against the Baltimore Ravens here. Final score, 35-10. to 10. Let's talk about the trick play on offense. Let's talk about the freaking <laughs> reverse with uh, Josh Allen at receiver coming back. I, I think it was a flea flicker type of play. You can't be you can't be mad at the call in terms of who doesn't love a trick play, who doesn't love some creativity in their offense, especially in 2024, right? I will say it was the wrong time to call it. If the Bills score on that possession, the game becomes 21-17. to It becomes a lot more viable. I wonder what happens from there. If wishes were fishes, right, the whole world would be an ocean. Joe Brady came out and, and admitted, you know, that it was the wrong call. And same thing I mentioned with Keon Coleman just a couple minutes ago. You just hope a young play caller learns from it and it doesn't happen again. Of course, you know, you can call a trick play. Just in that situation, it was not the right time for it. The m momentum swung in the Baltimore Ravens' favor. And a lot of Bills fans, you know, are talking about the holding calls that were missed by the Ravens and, and all these certain things. And, and I get it, man. We're all Bills fans. We all want the Bills to win. This was not their day. And sometimes the ball just drops in the other team's favor. Now, that's not me saying it in a negative sense in the fact like, oh, Th there was some greater force against us because I don't believe that. But the ball did bounce in the Ravens' favor. That that's just what happened, right? They were at the goal line about to score a touchdown, fumbled in the in into the end zone, and their 300-pound fullback bounces on the ball, and it's another touchdown, right? So it's okay. The Bills are going to bounce back. Yes, it's a tough three-game stretch here. Houston is next. Stefan Diggs. Haven't heard too much about him yet, but it's only Tuesday. Hopefully this video goes out today. I'm going to make sure that – I do my best to do that. The Kelly Cast predictions for week five will start tomorrow. Videos will be coming out Wednesday and Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Let me know your thoughts on the Bills' performance against the Baltimore Ravens. If you thought it was bad, if you thought it was good, what was good? Tell me something good you saw in this game because I've just been seeing a lot of negatives. I want to see what you guys think. For now, I'm Dan Kelly with the Kelly Cast, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then, take it easy.